Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a hand painted balayage. This is my first attempt at one. So I went in and took um, some diagonals and horizontals around her hairline just to get that detailing in. And I just started painting. Um, I am using the Schwarzkopf clay lightener. Um, I went ahead and just went with 40 volume because it is open air and her hair is pretty dark. I got really, really lucky because she has virgin hair, you guys, which is um, very rare to find. But you can kind of see that I'm taking diagonals some I am um, teasing like in this section and then other ones I'm just going in and hand painting them The reason why I love the short scoff clay lightener is because it doesn't transfer to other hair strands. So once I paint it on, it coats like a hard shell coating on the hair strands and lightens, but it doesn't transfer to the other hair. So if I don't lighten the other pieces, I can gently lay it over without having to have foils or saran wrap or any other, you know, sectioning agent. All right guys, so I moved to the front and I'm still taking those diagonal sections and lightening the hair. So I'll do one with some highs and lows and then um, the other one I will leave dark for dimension and then I'll keep teasing those sections and continue with um, my highs and lows a little bit higher in the front and then it slowly um, having a decline in the back. Uh, and I did the same thing to the other side. So again, taking those teasing sections, doing some highs and lows um, and then leaving some dark in between for some dimension. All right, guys, so this is what the technique is looking like. You can tell that she's lightening pretty quickly. It's only been on for about 15 minutes. I left the clay lightener on for a total of 35 to 40 minutes. Right now, I am putting a 7-1 from the Vibrance line. This is just like a nice root melting toner, just so she can have um, a good gradient from her dark hair all the way down to her blonde. And we're just smudging at the root, pulling the color down. And then I'm gonna go in with a 9-1 mixed with a 9-5-5. Um, and that's also from the Schwarzkopf Vibrant line. And I'm just melting the two colors down together so it has a nice gradient blend. Just putting in some leave-in. This is the peptide bond spray from Schwarzkopf BC. And it just adds like a nice leave-in conditioner. It's meant for fine hair, good heat protectant. And I'm just starting to get her air dried. Now you can finally see her color slowly start to pop. I know it was dark there for a minute. Um, and then I went in and curled it. So you can see all that color. I'm using the Amika dry shampoo. I just like to add a little bit of texture to the hair after I finish curling. And we're gonna brush them out. You can definitely see how seamless the blend is. It goes from that dark to light, almost in a sun-kissed manner. It's just super natural. If you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to be posting more, and to see that, you can head over to my Instagram page, which is champagne underscore hair underscore extensions.